In 2015, Microsoft unveiled ReCore, a game that was made by devs from the famous game Metroid Prime. The game looked promising, but ultimately released with technical issues, almost no story, and a simple combat system. Rumors and leaks suggest that ReCore 2 may be in development. Now, no one knows that this is ReCore 2. It could be a new IP entirely. But the actress that played Jewel in ReCore, Erica Sato, so I think it is a good chance that this is ReCore 2. I guess only time will tell. And this is how the second game can benefit from where the first game's mistakes were. Record dropped with a lot of technical issues, uh, from frame rates to pop-ins. Uh, these are things that cannot happen in its sequel. People like a very good optimized game, a very good fluent game. Uh, that's why a lot of people play on PC because they need that performance wise. Now you don't have to have this game is like 60 frames constantly on the consoles, but you need at least to lock 30. It would be ideal for them to have 60, but if that's not achievable, then at least have a lock 30. But to me, if the game's going to do good in this age, it's got to look visually appealing. This game needs to look visually appearing as well. It's not your God of War. It's not your Horizon Zero Dawn. Uh, it's not your Rise, Son of Rome, it's not your Gears of War 4, but it does need to look to the point to where uh, if you look at that game, it's like, oh, that looks really nice. I wonder what it is. A lot of gamers these days will buy something just clearly if it's eye candy to them. doesn't even necessarily have to play well because uh, you can't really see what you play from just looking at the, that trailer at E3. Uh, you really find out the gameplay mechanics closer to launch. So by just making the game look visually appealing to, uh, you know, the average consumer that's watching that YouTube trailer, I do feel like right there, that alone is going to help the sequel be more successful than its predecessor. Now, when it comes to ReCore 2, I really need them to improve that battle system. ReCore had an okay battle system, but it got really redundant and it got really boring after a while. For those of you that don't know, ReCore had a color system to where uh, the shields would actually, there was different shields on different enemies. It was red, green, and I, bl I believe blue. So you had a, a match that attack that you had to the corresponding shield that they had. Uh, that was cool and all, but after about the 30th one, you got bored of that. They need to mix that up. They need more different ways to attack. I would like to see more of, like, melee weapons, uh, you know, more different guns, because I she pretty much just had one weapon the entire game. Now, I will point out in the Definitive Edition, she did switch it up a little bit, but by then it was too late. The people didn't care. The game was already dead. No one wanted to give that game another try, and the Definitive Edition doesn't really ever... Uh, completely changed drastic gameplay, which it did. The Definitive Edition changed a lot about this game. But they need to take what they did in the Definitive Edition. They need to expand on it. They need to look at different playing styles. They need to make sure that a lot of different gamers would like this game because not everyone plays games the same. And that's one of the biggest issues they had. Recore, you only had a, one way to play that game and one way only. And that was the biggest issue because people got bored really fast. Another part of the issue I saw with ReCore is they had a really bad progression system. How you got in certain dungeons. They actually had this a lot in the main storyline. What I'm referring to is you actually had to collect these little robots that were scattered throughout the desert or scattered throughout any kind of temple or whatever the dungeons or whatever you want to call them. Uh, these things had to be found before you can progress and keep going. Now, one of the issues I have with this is it was tedious. It felt like this wasn't even part of the story. It had no lore to what you're doing, and I hated this. One of the reasons that I stopped really, like, you know, playing Recon, wanted to go back and finding all the prism cores, is because a lot of these prism cores were behind these walls that you had to get these robots to actually activate and go in. Don't do that again. Please don't do that again. Robots that helped you progress through the system. Uh, they did a good job on, you know, the story-wise to progress to get these robots. I feel like uh, there was a lot of poor choices when it comes to the robots themselves. I don't really, I think one was Duncan, that was the big ape one. The dog was Mac, and I can't remember the, Seth was the uh, the, the yellow robot. 
you can intertwine these, change their cores. You can make Duncan Mac, Mac Duncan, or anything that you choose. But I feel like they should add more of a personality to them. Maybe them talking to each other. Maybe you know, get you attached to these these animals, these robots, to actually give you some kind of backstory behind them. What happened? No one even really knows why these things are around. And that's one of the big issues I have. This is the actual part that they can do why wasn't these animals talking to each other uh jewel talked to them multiple times she could understand their language why didn't they talk to each other i feel like just something that simple to give them a personality to let them refer to each other to let them in interact with each other would have helped this game out tremendously so that's why i really want them to you know focus on that if they bring that kind of aspect back to where these robots are which that was the biggest portion of record was those robots i highly doubt they won't be in the second one if there is a second one just let them interact with each other let them have a personality let me like mac but hate seth we need that in the game i feel like one of the biggest issues people had with this game was the poor choices in its story and when i meet by a story the story was there but it wasn't told good it wasn't executed correctly they didn't really explain much of anything they didn't go in depth on anything uh you know who jewel is but not really where she came from you know who her dad is but not really what he was doing there uh you know that they're in a world that has pretty much no one there but no why he got to that point uh the game really didn't have any story driven thing and i feel like record 2 really needs that record 2 needs to focus on story first and then do platforming or i would even be upset if they focused on platforming first and then second to story that's what they need those two need to be hand to hand they don't need to go down any on the platforming and they don't need to skip out on the on the story to heighten anything else in the game because i feel like those are the two things that would make this game what it is now now the biggest issue people had with this game including myself was the empty open world and a lot of you don't know this, but, you know, I'm, I'm assuming a lot of the viewers don't even didn't even really play Record. They had a massive world in this game, and there was nothing in it. No, uh, no NPCs, none of Jules' people besides that one person you meet, nothing like that. There was no factions, there was nothing. And that was the issue this game really, really had. If the game felt alive, if they, even if it was like, you know, enemy factions, if there was enemy or whatever race the enemy, uh, you know, the, uh, the people you kill are, if they had something like that, there was nothing really into that caliber at all. And that's my biggest issue with this game is they, that world should have been filled with NPCs. That world should have been filled with towns that you can talk to. There should have been upgrades you can do. There should have been stuff you can buy. Please. And whoever makes Record 2, I don't know if it's going to be the same company or it's going to be another company. Make the world a living thing. Make sure you look into everything. Make sure you make that world. Make sure you have NPCs that really heighten that world. I want a Borderlands 2 world. Not exactly. I'm not talking about you know all this, this silly shit in, in Borderlands 2. I'm talking about having a world that's alive like Borderlands 2 in Record 2. And a lot of issues that I have can be fixed. Uh, the majority of the things I said in this video can be fixed. One of the biggest things that I think this game does well, and it's sad that I've went over like six negative things and I'm only giving you one positive thing. The platforming in this game is second to none. And I mean that. If any of you have ever played ReCore all the way from beginning to end, there is some platforming in this game that is crazy. Especially towards the end of the game in the last couple floors. They get some insane stuff. I'd like to see some comment section where you show me a video of someone doing this on the first playthrough that doesn't die one time because it is pretty insane. I do feel like this game has a lot of potential. I feel like if you really focus on story and platforming, get a good mechanic system in there with fighting, and you know, you make that world alive, make those graphics look like you know, appealing, and you got a great game maybe even a flagship game maybe something they can even sell consoles with you know when it comes to stuff like uncharted 2 uncharted 1 a lot of people have always said that game sucked but when uncharted 2 came out it, it turned out to be one of sony's flagship titles that they sold millions of copies of and they've sold millions of actual consoles with 
So I think any game deserves a sequel. Except for Quantum Break. No, I'm joking. But, you know, I do want this game to succeed. Because I personally enjoyed Record. I thought it was a, a unique game. I thought it, I think it has a great foundation. But anyway, you know, tell me what you guys think. Uh, I know a lot of you didn't play Record. And I don't blame you. It's like I said. I said more po negative things about this game than positive. But I, for one, you know, I stuck through and I did enjoy playing the game. I beat the whole game. I'm one of the only few people I know that beat it. But, you know, put in the comment section, if you beat it, put in the comment section, would you like a record too? And tell me some of the, you know, if I missed anything that you feel like would really lighten that game up, tell me that in the comment section. But, you know, this is Gaming Addict. Um, I'm out of here. Peace.